team fun approached us this morning uh, after we both survived our U-turns with a little peace offering of some trail mix. I think they were going after my heart because yeah. they know I eat so much. I don't have it anymore. I ate it. <laughs> so, uh, you know. It might have worked. I think it, to be honest, it was a nice gesture. But it still happened. Don't you think? It did still happen. We thought we were going into the last leg with tons of friends in one of the groups of, in one of the duos of friends that we really thought were at the top of the list ended up U-turning us. So you can't trust many people, which is fine because at the end of the day, The Amazing Race is all about how much you trust your partner and how well you work with your partner. So at least we trust each other. Yeah. At least we can work together. It was definitely interesting because Prior to the legs, so many teams had talked about you turning the Afghan animals. So then to get to the board and see that no one had you turned the Afghan animals definitely tells us that they're working on some of the teams as well to look less threatening than they really are. Um, it was interesting hearing Becca and Floyd say that the Afghan animals encouraged them to U turn us because we definitely feel like Leo and Jamal recognize us as a threat. So they definitely are scheming behind the scenes as well. Do we trust the Afghan animals? I mean, if it's a hard question to answer, then clearly the answer is no. The interesting thing is, at the end of the day, I for some reason still trust Becca and Floyd more than I trust the Afghan animals. And Becca and Floyd are the ones who actually pulled the trigger on you turning us. So what that says about our relationship with the Afghan animals, I don't know, but we definitely still have our eyes on them. We just ran out of the airport and we think we were the first team to get a cab and Get on the road. So there might be one or two teams in front of us, but we saw people We're still. definitely in the front of the pack. Yeah. We saw tons of teams running by we us saw while we were already in a cab they taking were. off. Oh, there's Becca and Floyd. Yes. There we go. That's good, good, good. Keep passing people. Especially teams that you turned us on the last leg. Well, so back in Georgia, First time we ran this race, I uh, had to do a dance and it didn't go so well. It took Corey four hours. So we've been trying to avoid dance, although I wouldn't mind a redemption moment. We're open moment. to it. We're open to yeah. dancing if the fishing doesn't go well. But I feel like the fishing in general is already a better option because it's you're doing your own thing. The light it up, the dancing, you have to like learn something that's subjective. Somebody judges you based on how well they think you did. The, the fishing, you get it or you don't. It's like... And I, have you fished? Oh, yes. We are from Michigan. We got great lakes, great times. <laughs> so we should be able to fish. And, just, and, just, <laughs> and then dig a 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 a prom is a big old shrimp. Big old shrimp. But what is shrimp see? Bubba gump shrimp. Jenna and I were like a bees and carrots again. We said we were going to bubble gump shrimp this whole way. Jenna. No. Who's his friend that Lieutenant has Lieutenant Dan. No. Bubba. Bubba. <laughs> That's why it's called Bubba Gums. Oh. I like shrimp. Janae and I were like a peel and a carrot again. I oh. wish I could fly. Fly like a bird. Bird in the sky. <laughs> fly like a feather. <laughs> this is a good omen. Yeah, Colin Christie Colin gave you a, Colin gave you a, oh, you're not going to go dance? Colin's been like body rolling at the airport. He's ready to twerk. 